Yo, before the video starts, I want to announce the winner of the War Machine DLC giveaway from the previous video. The winner is PC Gamer. Hit me up on Twitter to claim your prize. Is this the update that will save Call of Duty World War II? You won't believe this update in Call of Duty World War II. Click this if you still play World War II. Who still plays Call of Duty? Is Call of Duty dead? Will this revive Call of Duty? Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, World War II just received the biggest update since the launch of the game. You think I'm joking? Well, I'm not. That's another potential title. The biggest update in Call of Duty World War II. The update that will save Call of Duty World War II. With this update came the second DLC map pack called The War Machine. Sledgehammer Games actually invited me out to their studios to play it early, which I plan to upload a vlog of on my channel, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Small Name that YouTuber! Dang, dude. I wonder if we'll see anything we're not supposed to see. And at the studios, we got to play the new maps with the big update that came with it, man. Whoa, that changes a lot. Okay, I thought the background honestly was better before. But it's still cool they updated the headquarters. Should we play against someone as we talk about the update? I think everyone's too busy creating paint jobs. In this update, man, they changed how divisions work in the game. Remember how infantry had the bayonet, airborne had the suppressor for the SMGs, armored had the bipod, mountain had the sharpshooter, expeditioner had the fire rounds, resistance. I don't even know what it had before. But they removed those kind of like benefits and added a new one for each of them. Ooh, got time to battle. They changed a lot, bro. They really did. They gave unlimited sprint for all classes now. Sit down, sir. So SMGs won't be the only ones that can run around quickly. So to balance the fact that they gave unlimited sprint, they lowered the overall sprint speed. Ooh, this thing is good. Bro, the gore is good. Hey, GG, son. They also removed Primed, which is a pretty big one, bro. Oh, my. But you know what they did? They allow us to add another attachment to all weapons now. So you don't need Prime to have additional attachment. Every weapon can have one. They also added some new basic training cards, dudes. Blitzkrieg changes score streaks to kill streaks. It's a perk that makes it so you get kills to unlock streaks opposed to score. <laughs> oh, buddy. Streaks are earned by kills instead of score. Bonus, streaks are improved and select a fourth streak. This is a really big perk. It makes the current streaks more powerful and you can add a fourth one. You know what? We can honestly make a video showcasing each new perk just because they're that new and important. Slain enemies drop intel packs that reveal nearby hostiles. Bonus, intel ping at the start of each life. So every time you pick up this pack after killing an enemy, a ping is in their location that reveals more enemies. Pretty cool, yo. Oh, they also made it so you could put a rocket launcher on every class. No matter what, you could use a rocket launcher. They also allow every class to have a lethal and a tactical, so... Armored, honestly, is more effective now because you won't get affected by them as much. Bro, like, they, they tweaked all of the divisions, so some of them are more useful now, like resistance, enemy movements are easier to hear. Pretty cool. Kills and assists grant intel ping of nearby enemies. That's also a big one, and easier spot targets and increased minimap coverage. But check out the mountain one. Invisible to enemy recon aircraft and streaks. Killed enemy death locations hidden. No name or reticle change when enemies aim at you in silent movement. So this now has like a more stealthy aspect to it. I honestly like this update. It really does make the game feel newer, smoother, and it gives us more creative freedom when creating classes. Sledgehammer Games is still listening and responding to the community. They're making changes that I personally think are making the game more fun. Even if you're not playing it, this is for those who are, and this might make you come back to the game. Yo, check out my crappy camo I just quickly made. I wanted to test the paint jobs, and this is what I made real quickly. It says Elite on the top. Hey, why not? It just makes me happy knowing that they're still making changes, big changes that are affecting the game in a much bigger way than just adding a weapon or a new mode. They're changing like the core mechanics that really keep the game fresh and fun. I definitely want to showcase gameplay of each new map 
I did record gameplay from the Sledgehammer Studios, which I wanted to share. But I actually went to PAX East, and for the weekend, I was streaming live from PAX East and Boston, bro, from the Facebook booth. It was my second time going to PAX, and it was my first time streaming live from the event. I want to make a video explaining why I'm streaming on Facebook now. I just want to mainly showcase this new update, the new maps, and the mechanics of the game. Bro, this, this sprint is pretty, it's pretty big. Alright, bro, when you approach these new maps... If you want to do better and survive longer, travel the perimeters, dog. Take the outsides. It limits the chances you'll get shot in the back, and you'll learn the map a little less stressfully, thanks to not dying as much. Alright, so this is Egypt, obviously. An Egyptian-themed map. This map has a bunch of, like, tight corridors and a lot of CQC going on. And, you know, this GPMG is, like, straight hacks. I want to try something. I guess they tweaked the bipod so it takes the ammo from your uh, supply. And it also increases fire rate now, which is kind of a hidden update. Oh, almost got three. Bro, I even shot early. So I'm a sucker for new maps, bro. It really does make the game seem more fun and fresh because you're playing in areas you haven't before. And what separates these maps from the default maps is that these aren't the traditional three-lane system. Yeah, so Sledgehammer Games made these maps without, like, the three-lane system we've seen on the maps the game came with. Take a seat. Sit down. Try to cap this back. Okay, got it back. No biggie. Can I reload this as soon as I can? Oh, I was saved! And then I died by Nate. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think this update was a step in the right direction. It was more than a step. It was like a massive leap. It's like a world record leap in the right direction. Bro, look how fast I am. Airborne is so quick. Dude, all the divisions feel stronger now. And so much more distinct in my opinion. Because you don't have to use... The weapon that suits the class like before you pretty much would be wasting airborne if you didn't use a smg so the bayonet the suppressor are now attachments for the weapons that they go with and they also added a grenade launcher attachment to rifles yo in the comment section what about this update do you enjoy the most the maps the changes to the divisions do you like the changes to the basic training do you like the blitzkrieg basic training the most I want to know, what do you guys like and dislike about this update? Yo, I'm talking to you, the people who still play Call of Duty World War II. And I mean it, bro. I want to know what true Call of Duty players think of this update. I've always been a COD fanboy. I've always enjoyed playing COD. Whenever developers add such a big update to the game, it just makes me super appreciative of them. And makes me respect them because they're listening and they want this game to be as best as it can be. Just because other games might be more popular, it doesn't mean that, ooh, COD is dead. It's only dead to those who aren't playing it. Obviously it's not dead if you still are and enjoying it. But yo, we're playing on Dunkirk, bro. This map is super wide open. Is there upstairs? Yes. Let's go say hello. Alright, although they added a limited sprint, it doesn't mean pe people stop camping. They'll definitely still camp. Stop their resupply. Ooh, this Damn, look at this thing. He's got the eagle on it! Bro. Tell me they did not make that after my eagle. Yo, so Sledgehammer actually wants people to like to use snipers the way they're meant to be used, and not like quick scoping. Bro, this map is hella wide open. If you're not good at sniping or shooting from a distance, yo, rest in peace.
Nice shot. Damn, going off. <laughs> For all those tags. Bro, this is insane battle right now. All these tags. You guys are really good at the game. Yo! Yo, you fucking elite shot, dude! Yo, get me the elite shot! I want you. I, I want you fucking video when you when you got your house, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What's up, dude? I cannot believe that. Yo, Sam, I told you, bro. I I hope to God he puts me in this video. <laughs> dude. All y'all oh, elite shot was it. on my team. Dude, I can't I can't relax, bro. Yo, everyone, elite shot was on my team. How y'all feel? How do y'all feel? Elite shot was on my team. Yo, bro. Do you like this update? Dude, of course. Um, dude, I hope you post this video so bad. Dude, straight up. I'm, I'm not even kidding, bro. <laughs> I want all ten y'all to know. Uh, all nine y'all to know. Elite shot was on my team. Oh my god, yo, I'm gonna pass out. Dude, I'm gonna pass out. No, dude. No, I won't pass out. I won't pass out. If you're out, on my I team, I can't lose a man. <laughs> all right, the trick with this map. There is no trick. It's chaotic. It's close quarters. It's nuts. If you control the middle, you pretty much control the game. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got this dude, elite scorer on our team. Yo, he's hella hyped. Ooh, we got there first, boy. Yo, check this out. Check this out, dude. Yo, I dare you guys try to stay here now. Didn't think so. Didn't, didn't think so. They getting burnt, boys. Yo, so this is where the V2 rocket was developed. If you legit sit in this spot of the map, you like win. Hard point especially. Ooh, okay, okay. Bro, all these maps are just so fun and different. Like, none of them have the three lanes. I mean, this one might have like a little bit of three lane, but it's still. Laid out in a different way. Oh man. Oh, we're causing trouble in their base. Whoa! Oh, I shot you in the head. Straving run inbound. Right. Okay, I'm like this now. Whoa! This is way better. I, what am I, host? Bro, I gotta be host. Bro, I, I have to be. Like, this is hitting too much. Bro, I used this gun before enough to know. It normally doesn't shred that much. We're 20 and 3. How the heck are we 20 and 3 already? Man, V2. That turnout was stupid. <laughs> And we stuck them. Yo, also in the comment section, which map is your favorite? A part of the War Machine DLC. Alright, to wrap this up, let's play the new War Mode. Alright, this new War Mode is pretty crazy too, bro. For the most part, it's close quarters. It has some medium range. Though a lot happens close up. Intel acquired. Acquire the intel. This thing has so much kick without grip. We got a piece of intel. 
it's all me. And we out, just like that. Intel captured. Two more Ooh, to go. 400. Damn, it's a lot. We're supposed to get past a wall of campers. It's tricky. All right, time to use an OP weapon. I love how they all have MP40s. Bro, look how OP this is. You won't be able to kill us. Bro, the bipod's now so buffed. They just, they just won't be able to. Oh gosh. I feel like if we're dead, then they can capture it. What are they doing? Yo, teammates, can you please get to it? Why are they so thick, Skull, dog? They actually got it. Hey, good for them. It means more kills for us. This next part of this war mode is like a uh, hard point. Just gotta defend this point. I don't know if I have teammates or not. I'm not sure if I'm actually killing stuff. But check it out. This next part is pretty fun. The first time we saw dog fights in a war mode, just in multiplayer. You leave the war. Whoa. How the hell do you do a barrel roll? Allied fighter is down! Enemy fighter is destroyed! Holy... Destroy oh the enemy my fighter. goodness! We destroyed the fighter! We destroyed an allied fighter! Allied fighter is down! Bro, 10v10. Alright dudes, we wrapping this up. We showcased all the new DLC maps. We covered the new divisions, the customization, the class creation. In the comment section, I want to know what's your favorite map and what's something you like and dislike about this update. For me, I think this update was a great step in the right direction. I'm super happy that Sledgehammer is listening. They're still making adjustments and tweaking the game to make the players who still play it happy. So even if you're not playing it, I hope you enjoy watching me play. Make sure you follow me up on all social media because that's where I like to stay connected with you guys. And I do like daily giveaways. So, hey, what you waiting for, bro? You're missing out. Also, check out my game on Essentials. Things I use to improve my game. Controller, Control Freaks, Gamer Grip, Headsets, Gamer Router. Bro, we got it all. Use discount code ELITE or Elite Shot to save.
It feels good to be back in my battle station. Keep your eyes peeled for more live streams on Facebook because we've been going live like all the time, bro. Thank you for watching. Your support's greatly appreciated. And if you're sticking with the umpire, don't forget to stay elite. I'm signing out. Peace.